What's up everyone, I'm Goblin Gamer, and today I am going to give you the do's and don'ts if you're new to playing Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Let's go. So you're probably wondering, what are Dreamlights? Dreamlights are the in-game currency that allows you to unlock realms such as the what's inside the Dream Castle here. There's like three or four floors of them, and each one of these are locked and you will have to have Dreamlight to unlock them. They're also used to unlock biomes like areas that are around Dreamlight Valley. So you're gonna need the Dreamlight to unlock realms and to unlock biomes. But I suggest you do not use Dreamlight to unlock character realms right away. The reason why is because some character realms that you unlock inside the Dream Castle require you to have a certain area open, complete a quest. For example, the Frozen Realm before you can bring Elsa over to Dreamlight and put her a home here, which will be up here in Frosted Heights, you will need to unlock Forest of Valor here to complete a quest that she wants you to do. It's to make some wind chimes to calm the winds down over in her realm. But if you don't do this, she won't come over. So you have to have this unlocked. So I suggest unlocking all the biomes first. At your crafting station, you can actually craft Dreamlight. It takes 10 dream shards to craft 250 dream lights but i suggest you don't do this because on dreamlight duties here you can collect dream light without having to craft anything all you gotta do is do the quest that's on here once you do one quest another one will pop up once you learn to do all these quests it will repeat every day so you can just jump into the game and do it and collect almost 5,000 dream lights probably more than that i've collected about 5,500 in one day just off dreamlight duties that's a daily quest so do not and i repeat do not craft dreamlight but getting dream shards is going to be a job on its own you'll have to grind for that and you also need to grind for night shards why because you will have to make purified night shards with five night shards and one dream shard and you're going to need this because future quest in this game is going to ask you for it. You to give them purified night shards. And if you've already spent all your dream shards making dream light here when you really didn't need to, guess what? You're going to have to go back out there and grind away to get these back up. And that could take hours, probably even days. It depends on how much purified night shards you need for that quest. And believe me, you're going to want to save these. I promise. So you're wondering, how do I get the Dream Shards or the Night Shards? You see this little mound here that's glowing with these little sparkly things? Dig it up. You either get Night Shards, which is that, or you get Dream Shards, which is pink. And there's a lot of these mounds in every biome. Like, there's two or three of them in each biome. So check them out. Do not pass them up because you're going to need to collect these Dream Shards and Night Shards to make the purified Night Shards that you're going to need later on. You can also sometimes get... Dream Shards from removing Night Thorns. And that one gave me seeds. You can also get them from feeding an animal, like this squirrel here. Now, my experience, they'll give you a reward the first time, but they won't give you a reward anymore after that. Now, I got a Dream Shard from this squirrel, but watch this. If I do it again, feed this squirrel some peanuts, I won't get a reward. In my experience, I've learned that they will only reward you one time a day. So don't be spending all your food and everything feeding the same animal over and over in the same day because it's not going to work. So are you wanting to make some money? Gardening is your best option right off the bat and throughout this game. We're in Peaceful Meadows right now. And right now you need to be, if you're in this area, you need to buy carrots. Buy how much carrots you can afford right now. Go ahead and plant your carrots. You can actually hold the button down and it'll automatically plant for you. Nice. And don't forget to water your plants because, well, if you don't water them, they're not going to grow. Uh, carrots actually grow pretty fast. So it's only like maybe 10 minutes, I think. And then you can harvest them and go over here and sell them to Goofy. Everything you harvest can be sold to Goofy, including mining, like gems, Stones, all that stuff can be sold. Unless it's a quest item. You can't sell quest items. 
And you can also fish. And whatever fish you catch, you can give it to Goofy and sell it to him. Nice. Now, in the fishing area, they got they got white ripples, they got blue ripples, and they got gold ripples. The gold ripples are the more rare fish, and they also sell for a lot higher price. So make sure you always trying to get a gold. This is a gold mine. You have plenty of pumpkins here. You got a million dollar field probably. This is a million dollar field here. No lie. So that's another reason why you need to unlock buy on because if you're aiming to make money to buy, you know, stuff from Scrooge's store or whatever, you need to try to get Forgotten Lands, which is pretty much the highest biome you can buy on Dreamlight so you can get the pumpkins. The pumpkins are going to be your money maker to so make sure you get there and do that. So while you're harvesting, you're mining, you're fishing, you all of a sudden run out of energy. Well, most of the time you'll probably just open up your inventory and go down here and eat you some food, fill up your energy. Don't do that. Do not do that. Save your food for when you have to do a quest to make some recipes or whatever. But don't eat it to boost up your energy. Do what I do. Go to where your starter home is, which is right here. Move it to the biome you're going to be working at. So then while you're out here harvesting your money and you run out of energy, just walk right over here to your house. Two seconds later, your energy's filled up. Walk back out and continue to do it again. Move your house everywhere you go. Now, later on in the game, you'll end up getting like few houses that's yours. So you'll be able to put a house in each biome, which is amazing. Collect all the wood you come across, whatever it might be, dry wood, soft wood, dark wood, collect it all and put it back into an area where you can just store it because you are going to have quests that's going to want you to collect a hundred wood or to craft something that's going to have a lot of wood to take to craft it. And it takes a lot, especially to get dark wood and stuff like that. So just go ahead and store every wood you come across into a storage. By the way, this doesn't work no more. People always said put plaza trees into your forgotten lands and it will produce dark wood. Now, with the new update, they had put a block on this. It doesn't do that no more. So don't listen to none of those videos that says it still produces dark wood because it don't. Speaking of storage. Okay, so yeah, you get one little chest in this game when you first start. And you had to pay money to expand it. Well, eventually when you expand it all the way, you'll have to craft other chests to get more expansion. That takes a lot of wood. That takes a lot of materials. But if you don't have the materials to craft a chest right now, what you do is go into your home and use it as a storage. Look at this. Use it as a storage. You just store everything in here and you just come back in here and get what you need as you go along. But if you store it and drop it outside in Dreamlight Valley, you're going to forget where you put it and you're going to be searching all over the place like I've done in the past. Like, oh, I can't find where I left my you know, my plants that I need for this quest and because I dropped it somewhere and I couldn't remember where. So always make sure you drop it into your house. You know exactly where it's at. It's somewhere in here. If I want this blue plant, I can get it. White plant here. It's here. I know exactly where to go to get it. So if you can't afford an upgrade in storage, which is a little chest like that, go ahead and just use this as an option for right now because eventually you'll have enough material to craft bigger storages. All right, so you want to make sure that your realm characters that you have, especially the first four you start with, which is Goofy, Mickey, Scrooge, and Merlin, are all leveled up to 10. The reason why I say that is because there are some quests that require you to have them at level 10 before you can progress with their story. So always make sure you level them up. Now, you can always level them up by doing like their favorite things of the day, and they'll tell you down here what they would like to have. But another way you can level them up is you can ask them, let's hang out and they will come and hang out with you. Once you level a character past the first level, you allow them to have a specialty like foraging, uh, gardening, mining, all that good stuff. I would suggest picking gardening because gardening gives you a lot of points. Like Mickey here, he's already maxed out at 10, but Watch what happens when I'm start 
harvesting my pumpkin plant here. Watch this. Watch Mickey. Look at all this. Plus, he'll give you double of everything. Look, look at him throwing all that. Look at all that. Look at the three stars going up. Watch. He keeps throwing out all these extra pumpkins or whatever you're you're harvesting. Make sure they have the specialty of gardening because this is where you're going to level them up quicker. You're going to get a lot more items like the pumpkins I'm getting. After I harvest this whole thing, there's 500 pumpkins here in my patch. He's going to give me probably about three or 400 more. That means I got a lot of profit here. If you come over here and get someone who's not in the gardening, but this one, you know, Christoph here does mining. You bring them over here. Let's go ahead and get our pumpkins real quick. And you do this. See what happens? You get one star. I'm telling you. You want to make sure your characters are... You get a couple that's in mining, a couple that's in foraging. But most of them, make sure they're in gardening because that is where your money's going to come in. And that's where you're going to get high levels here. And the reason why I say that is because this... Okay, Kristoff is under mining specialty, right? Well, there's only... In each biome, there's only like three or four rocks you can mine at a time. So you have to wait for them to grow back, which is like every five minutes or something. And that takes a long time for them to level up. When you're planting stuff and gardening, man, all this, each one of these is a level up, baby. I mean, it gives you the experience and gives your friend level up fast. And like I said, once I get all this and all the stuff that Mickey gives me, go right over here and sell it to Goofy. You got me a million dollars, baby million dollars for 10 15 minutes of harvesting this pumpkin patch so always make sure that your friend whatever specialty they're in you got them with you when you are doing whatever whether it's fishing gardening foraging or mining all right so i know what you're thinking i can come over here and i can mine and get me some gems baby yeah and i can turn around and sell that for lots of money you can do that but i suggest you don't the reason is because, again, gems like this, they some of them are required for a quest completion. And if you come across a quest, it requires you to have, you know, Peridot here. And you don't have none because you sold it all, you're going to have to go and look everywhere for Peridot. Now, good thing is, this does tell you right here where you can find them and what biome you can find them in. So if I want a Peridot, it's in Peaceful Meadow, Dazzle Beach, the Grasslands and Promenade is over in Rift of Time. But you can find it in Peaceful Meadow and Dazzle Beach, but there's no guarantee you're going to get it right away. So you're going to have to grind to get it back so you can complete that quest. So I suggest selling some of them, but don't sell them all because you're going to need them for quests, I promise. And on top of that, some characters like Belle here, one of her favorite things of the day is a diamond. And if you sold all your diamonds, you're not going to be able to get that to her unless you go and mine for that. And I promise you, you're going to want to do everything possible to give each character their favorite thing each day because it helps level up faster. Every character has a max level of 10. So make sure you get them all there because they each give you a quest and you get money. It's just awesome. And plus, you know, once you get them 10, they're like your BFF. So we want a BFF. And last but not least, I haven't had a lot of people mention this in videos since the update, uh, but I'm going to mention it. If you made a mistake before the last couple weeks and created a username on this game that you did not like or you wanted to change, you couldn't change it. This recent update that came out last week allows you to do that. And a lot of people is like, how do you find it? Well, first of all, you have to be in you have to be in game, not in the main menu. You have to be in game to do this. Open up your menu here. Go over here to settings. Go down here to where it says help change avatar name. Now, as far as I know, you can change this as many times as you want because, I mean, there's no limit here as far as I know. But, uh, yeah, you cannot do this on the main menu. All right, so that is all the tips I have for you right now. When I start playing Rift in Time... Uh, I will play that and stream it on TikTok and here. So make sure you subscribe if you're interested in any of that gameplay. And I will see y'all in the next one. You have a good one.